You are the reason we came this morning to encounter your love, to encounter your power, to encounter your presence, to encounter open heaven, open doors. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. The Bible says that his spirit makes heavens beautiful. You're going to decree and declare this morning. I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your presence make my life beautiful. Everything that is ugly, everything that is not of you, in my life, out of my life, I receive angelic visitation. I receive the help of the Holy Ghost. Everything that is not of you, that is ugly, that is in out of order, out of my life. Can you make it your declaration this morning? I can't hear your voice, church. His presence made the heaven beautiful. Say, let my life be beautiful because your presence is with me, because the Holy Ghost is with me. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Say, let my life be beautiful. Because the Spirit of the Lord makes heaven beautiful. If heaven can be made beautiful because of the Spirit of the Lord, I expect you to be saying it. If, if the heaven is made beautiful by the presence of the Holy Ghost, therefore, as a carrier of the presence of God, let my life become beautiful as the heavens open over me. Let me see beauty for ashes. Let me receive beauty in my finances. My beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning and the garments of praise and for every spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. Can you declare this morning and make it your declaration that in the name of Jesus receive beauty for ashes. The oil of joy everywhere my life looks over let there be beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus over your children over the work of your hand this morning in Jesus name we have declared how many came to pray this morning I'm sure you came to pray so you need to enforce it pastor was teaching I was listening to his message on Sunday night and he said he was teaching in a particular message and he said, yesterday I informed you, today I, you came to enforce it. What they taught you yesterday, this morning you came to enforce it. Say, I came to enforce. I'm an enforcer this morning. Therefore, I receive beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. Because I carry the presence of God. Let my life become beautiful. Let my marriage become beautiful. Let my children's destiny become beautiful. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare with the whole of your life. In Jesus name we have declared. Hallelujah. Malachi 3.10. We are not talking about tithes. Be, be, be safe. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. They said, bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven armies, he will do what? If there are windows, there are doors. Hallelujah. It's not the kind of door that we have in this church. They are major doors. Doors that are as tall as the sky. Hallelujah. He says, if you, I will open what the windows of heaven for you. And God says, I will not just open it for fun. I will pour out something. When God opens heavens, he begins to pour out. The outpouring you need in your life, the blessing that will be poured out in your life, that will make a difference in your destiny, receive it this morning. Yeah. 
It says, I will pour out a blessing so great, you won't have enough room to, to take it in. Oh, my God. See, I will not have enough room to take it in. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, this morning, you're going to decree and declare that the windows of heaven are open over me. Hey, are you a tither in this house? Are you a giver? Can you open your mouth? I can't hear you closer. We are more than 10 here. Say the windows of heaven. The double doors are opened. Say the windows of heaven are open over me and God pours out such a blessing so great I won't have enough room to contain it. I won't have enough room to contain it because I'm a fighter, because I'm a giver. In the Lord's house, I will not have enough room to contain it. Therefore, no scarcity, no, no lack can survive around me. In the name of Jesus, I move from nothing up to overflowing abundance. In the name of Jesus, my soul, I will not have enough room to contain the blessing. In Jesus' name we are praying. The only reason why you are not bold or you will not be bold about this prayer is if you are not a giver. Do you know you can be tithing and not experience this if you don't declare it? Because everyone has released it. It's, it's, it's sealed, it's delivered. They've promised you. But you need to enforce it. See, I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, the windows of heaven, as they are open over me now, I receive an outpouring of a blessing. I receive an outpouring of a blessing. I will not have enough room to contain the blessing. Therefore, lack has no place. Not enough has no place. Just enough has no place. Overflowing abundance is my portion financially. I have more than enough. I have more. I will not lack no good thing. I will not lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. Let everything that is short, let it become more. Everything that looks like shortage, let it become more than enough. Everywhere you have experienced lack, receive more, 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 more. In Jesus' name, we have declared. See, I receive overflowing abundance everywhere that are experienced lack and shortage. Let there be more than enough in this season, more than ever before, in the name of Jesus, because I have received a blessing that has been poured out on me in the name of Jesus. Therefore, every spirit of poverty, every spirit of lack, I bind you this morning out of my life. In the name of Jesus, turn it to power. In Jesus' name we have declared. And they said that your gates will stay open day and night. Hallelujah. We have moved from window, we have moved to gates. Say my gates will stay open day and night. And men from all over the world will pour forth such a blessing. Will bring to me. They didn't say you will run after it. They will bring it to you. Receive the grace for them to bring it. In the 
name of Jesus. They said your gates will stay open day and night. So it's not about the activity. It's about your connection. Because the night shows you that you were sleeping. But while you were sleeping, hallelujah, hallelujah. you begin to receive what you have not received before. Your gates will stay where? Open. Say, my gates will stay open. Nothing will close it. Day and night. Not only when I'm walking. Even while I'm sleeping. To receive. How can you be receiving when you're sleeping? Hallelujah. I thought it was night time that we rested, that we were sleeping. God says, I don't need you to be involved in this. I just need you to walk the covenant. It's not how hard you walk. It's how connected to the covenant, how you walk the covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will do what? Stay open day and night to receive the wealth of many lands. So it will be beyond your country. <laughs> Hallelujah. I only came for two people this morning and I can, I can see them already. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say my gates, will stay open. my gates will stay open day and night yeah. to receive the wealth of many nations in the name of Jesus. There are kings, the kings of the world will be led as captives in a victory procession to me in the name of Jesus. Verse 12, hallelujah. For the nations that refuse to submit their wealth, they will be destroyed. Oh, master, tire, ba, 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 ba. Master, this is how serious that scripture in verse 11 is. The nation that refused to serve me, they will be destroyed. Master, poverty will be destroyed. Hey, in your life this morning, in the say poverty is destroyed. Sickness, you are destroyed because you are not serving me. Anything that is not serving your destiny, let it be destroyed. Master, you better open your mouth. Let luck be destroyed this morning. Let confusion be destroyed in your life. Any nation that refuses to serve me, that refuses to serve my children, that refuses to serve Kosa, let it be destroyed in my life in the name of Jesus. I uproot it from the roots. Never for you to grow in my life again. Never for you to have space in my life again. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying this morning? In Jesus' name, we are praying. How many have companies here? You are are going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Any nation that refuses to serve my company, everything that the enemy has planted in my company, in my organization that is not of the Lord, let it be uprooted. Let it be destroyed. Open your mouth. Anything that refuses to serve my ministry, let it be destroyed. Anything that refuses to serve my organization, let it be destroyed. Let confusion be destroyed this morning. Let disorderliness be destroyed this morning. Let lack be destroyed this morning. Come on. Over your staff. Over your finances in that company. Everything that has your name on it. Anything that refuses to serve my life. Let it be destroyed. Let poverty be destroyed. Out of my way. Out of my children's way. Contact 
Let the atmosphere around me change. Let there be a shift for better, for the best. I receive better. My In Jesus' name we have declared. So the nation that refused to serve my destiny, let it be out of my way. Let it be destroyed. The nations that refuse to serve my ministry, let it be out of my destiny. Let poverty be out. Let confusion be out. Let not enough be out. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we have declared. John chapter 1, verse 51. Hallelujah. There are some people that what they do and who they are, they have not experienced the fullness of what God is expecting from them in this season because they've surrounded themselves with some wrong spirits in, in the form of nations, some wrong spirits. But this morning be delivered. There's so much confusion where you work or where you are, what you're doing. There's not enough. Some people are owing staff. You know what God told you and you know the potentials around what you're doing, but you find out that you're not seeing it. It will not be seen automatically. You have to declare it. It's not just you talking. It's an enforcer. You are enforcing it. Pastor said to us the other day, he said, declare words every day, three times. How many were there? Three times a day, if possible, more than. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That from verse 50. Praise God. He said, did you see, did, do you believe this because I told you that I've seen you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. He said, then he said, I tell you the truth. You will all, you will all see heaven open and the angels of God going up and down. The evidence of an open heaven is that you see angels going up and down on your life. Angels are running around for my destiny. Hey, 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 hey. Did I come to the right church this morning? They are running around making this happen for me. As I came here this morning, in Jesus' name, as I came here this morning, the Holy Ghost said to me, the evidence of an open heaven is that you will see the manifestation of angels. Tell my people they need to activate the ministry of angels. Therefore, I declare to you this morning, I don't care if you don't believe it, but I will have at least one person will believe it. That in the name of Jesus, receive angelic assignments. Receive angelic help. by angels. I don't care who said they will not help you. All you need is one angel. In Jesus' name, God wants us to help Mary's destiny. Send her an angel. When you see an angel show up, you see there's a shift. There is a shift. Therefore, what has been stagnated, let it shift out of your way. Hey, cast out higher, Baba. Some people have been stuck for a long time. You were stuck because no God didn't put you in that position. Therefore, receive what you have not received in a long time. You are stuck, but there is a shift. Say the 
there is a shift in my life this morning. I experience the supernatural. I experience the supernatural dimension of God's mercy. Open heavens. Open doors everywhere. The heaven over me will not be bronze. The earth under me will not be iron. Because angels are on assignment over my destiny. Angels are on assignment over mother. Angels are on assignment over my children. Come on, my son. name we have declared when God releases his angels he releases them to go and do different things with different people and on the same day that he releases an angel for Mr. A he can also release an angel for Mr. B in fact it could just be a few hours apart as they leave the presence of this person they can move to the Zachariah had been a priest for a long time but he had an issue he was barren he was not fruitful he was stuck Serving God, but not seeing the results. And an angel, he was in the place of service and an angel showed up and he was afraid. He was afraid to the point that he was asking stupid questions. They had to tell him to go down so that he doesn't destroy what God had. You have been praying, but when the manifestation was about to come, you were resisting it. The same person now, this happened, an angel now moved to Mary. Mary that had no business with priesthood or anything, just a church could go goer. Hallelujah. She said, let it be unto me. According to your word. I don't know who you are, but I know that you are an angel. I don't need you to give me a resume. I don't need you to give me your CV. I don't need you to tell me where you're coming from or who sent you. But I perceive that because I've been praying for a shift. Who has been praying for a shift this morning? The man by the pool. He was there for 38 years. They said an angel will come at a certain time to come and stay at the pool. He was still, they had to sell Jesus. They said, this one, an angel cannot do it. Jesus had to show up. Jesus showed up, was he giving us, asking, telling Jesus, I have no one to help me. You are here this morning saying, I have no one to help me. God said, I've sent my angel. Yes. But fear is not allowing them to do what they want to do in your life. Because they move at the mention of your words. As you open your mouth this morning, you will see manifestations. Yes. Hey, say I will see manifestations. Angels will move and go up and down. 